We're saying a president could sell pardons, could sell military secrets, could order SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a, a political rival. Federal appeals court judges appear to be skeptical of the claim that Donald Trump is protected against criminal prosecution. Trump appeared in court Tuesday as he tries to get his federal election case dismissed. Our congressional correspondent Scott McFarlane has details. After arriving in a motorcade through the rain, Donald Trump sat in the front row as his attorney argued the 2020 election conspiracy criminal case against the former president must be dismissed. To authorize the prosecution of a president for his official acts would open a Pandora's box from which this nation may never recover. A trial judge rejected his claim of presidential immunity last year, saying a former president doesn't enjoy a get-out-of-jail-free card, which the prosecutor echoed today. The president has a unique constitutional role, but he is not above the law. The appeals court appeared skeptical, too, with one judge calling it paradoxical for a president to swear an oath to uphold the law, yet be allowed to violate the law. Judge Florence Pan posed a pointed hypothetical to Trump's attorney. Could a president who ordered SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival who was not impeached, would he be subject to criminal prosecution? If he were impeached and convicted first. The judges also pressed Trump's attorney when he acknowledged the former president could be charged if he had been convicted by the Senate at his 2021 impeachment. If Donald Trump could have been impeached and convicted and therefore could be prosecuted, then how can they argue immunity at the same time? It's a contradiction. Though he claimed he was forced from the campaign trail by the case, Trump appeared in court voluntarily and addressed cameras at his former D.C. hotel after. I feel that as a president, you have to have immunity. Very simple. Scott McFarland joins me now. Scott, uh, some pretty dramatic hypotheticals we heard today, including the, what if the president ordered SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival? What stood out to you the most watching these proceedings? Some of the terms used by Trump's attorney, let's be mindful that Donald Trump was sitting in the front row right behind his attorney, who synthesized into his legal arguments a criticism of President Biden's handling of the border, a criticism of former President Clinton, and the attorney also made reference to Trump being the leader in all the polls. Jeff, that sounds like stuff from the campaign stump. And mm -hmm. Let's notice that Donald Trump was not campaigning today. He was in the courtroom and spoke after, kind of a mixture of legal strategy and political strategy here. It, it seems like you get a pretty good idea of which way the D.C. Circuit Court here is leaning as you were there today, then it goes to the Supreme Court. What happens next? Either side, whoever loses can appeal to the full D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. And they don't like that. They could appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. But all of this expends time. And Donald Trump's M.O. has been to drag this out and delay this. Just having these arguments, waiting for the ruling, waiting for the appeal, it puts that March 4th trial date that Trump has here in Washington, Jeff, in grave jeopardy. And, the, and he has plenty of other legal action going on as well. Yeah, you need a scorecard, or you need a red zone <laughs> channel, but uh, he's back in court Thursday there in New York. All right, Scott McFarlane, um, as always on the story, thank you very much.